This is breaking news from 7 Eyewitness News. But first tonight, I'm Hannah Bueller with new information surrounding a hit and run case in Evans. It was two years ago when 52 year old Barry Moss was hit by a car on the side of Route 5 and left to die. The case was never brought to a grand jury under DA Frank Sedita, citing lack of evidence. But now Evans police tell me the new Erie County DA, the new acting DA, Michael Flaherty, is planning a sit down with Evans police regarding all the evidence in this case. Chief Ernest Masulo tells me the new DA wants to make sure nothing was missed here. The person police have been investigating in this case, Angola resident Gabrielle Ballo, has had her license revoked by the DMV. The DMV determined she was behind the wheel during the deadly accident. I have learned that her Jeep is still impounded by police now two years later as evidence. Evans police who believe they have a strong case are very hopeful. We're going to give all the information that we have to the new district attorney and to his top aides to look at the case. We're going to sit down again and explain to them what evidence we have, how we got the evidence, why we feel so strong. Uh, they're going to be a new set of eyes, a new attitude to look at it. Um, and we hopefully that they'll agree with us that they feel they have enough evidence to resubmit it to a grand jury, hopefully get an indictment, and move on with the trial. We, we reached out to the acting district attorney, Michael Flaherty, who says he cannot comment at this time. Evans police tell me they will be meeting next week with investigators and representatives from the DA's office to go over evidence in this case. I'll be following this story throughout the night. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.